first time. Imagine you are walking across a beautiful beach with your loved one, filled with golden sand and pristine water as far as the eye can see. Then you see something that completely ruins the view. A crumpled plastic bottle is lying on the shore, looking innocent, but behind its deceiving mask, it is a silent killer. Did you ever stop to think about where your plastic shopping bag or bottled water containers go? By 2020, no, by 2050, there will be more soft plastics in the ocean than fish. This was shocking because there are 3.5 trillion fish in the ocean as of 2017. Before it's too late, we must do something to minimise our use of soft plastics and reduce our impact on the environment. Only you can make the difference. Uh, to cut down on soft plastics, we need to encourage the government to prohibit soft plastics altogether. Although some shops like Coles remove plastic bags, you still have those Coles Better bags that are just as detrimental to the environment as before. They're still made out of plastic, which kills many animals as they commonly mistake it for food. When plastic bottles and bags break down, they turn to microplastics. These are tiny pieces of plastic that are made out of small beads or minuscule particles. This process occurs when a larger plastic item degrades. Unfortunately, this is the cause of death in many marine animals as I digest the plastic unknowingly. Shops also excessively wrap food in plastic that don't know, need this so-called sanitary action such as bananas, salads and apples. If we all boycotted packaged items, shops will begin to sell produce without the unnecessary plastic covers. We could help the environment further by using our reusable bags. As mentioned earlier, everyday items such as plastic bags can severely harm marine life if they digest it. It makes animals starve to death as the plastic takes up space in their stomach, which deceives their brain into thinking that they are full. Animals, have been known to, the animals that have been known to suffer are turtles, seabirds, fish and sharks. Furthermore, it can tangle around the animal's neck, making feeding almost impossible. This can cause whole marine ecosystems to collapse until the ocean is nothing but a rubbish wasteland. One of the most fatal threats to marine life is that plastics do degrade, but instead of, and, but instead of paper which dissolves, it breaks up into little pieces of plastic called microplastics. These are harmful as even the tiniest creatures, such as plankton, plankton can eat it. This can collapse food chains and wreak havoc on our oceans bio biodiversity. Another concern is that microplastics can contaminate waterways and even end up in our drinking water. Plastic travels from grocers to rivers to oceans. But where does it go after that? The world has five major, um, the world has five major currents and all of them have a massive plastic gyre. This is because the currents act like a massive vacuum that sucks all the rubbish into them. The biggest one is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. There are some misconceptions as many think that is a floating island made from stacks of rubbish. But in reality, it's a, it is a colossal area of rubbish and a sickening smog. It is three times the size of France. It alone is 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic, and this number just keeps and keeps on growing. Some of the weird things that have been found in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is an abandoned boat, gun, and even a car. Also, the lethal chemicals they use to build plastics are malignant. These chemicals end up in rivers and oceans and devastatingly create toxic environments. Humans can be affected by plentiful health problems caused by the production of plastic, such as typhoid, malaria, and other waterborne diseases. Also, the greenhouse gases that um, destroy the ozone layer that protects us from also, the greenhouse gases protect us from the ozone layer and are destroyed by the radiation. This is detrimental to animals as this raises the temperature, therefore killing even more animals. This creates a death trap that only by stopping the production of plastic can we fix this enormous problem. Don't be the person who says I'll stop tomorrow. Simple actions such as bringing your own bag and reusable bottles can save a life. Less pollution is the best solution. Be the change you want to see in the world.